This is stock number 21C7. We are here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Your new and used Chrysler and Chrysler Pacifica minivan headquarters. And today we are excited to show you this brand new 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Touring L all-wheel drive in brilliant black crystal pearl. This vehicle has the award-winning 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor. It's gonna get you 25 miles per gallon on the highway, 17 city with an average of 20 miles per gallon. And this one's really decked out. It's got the safety sphere group. It also has the Uconnect Theater family group, which a lot of new options that I'm excited to show you. And of course, just the redesign on the Chrysler Pacifica for 2021 is a really good redesign. First thing you'll notice are those LED headlamps, LED running lights, and LED fog lamps, and that the front bumper and grille are all different. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the looks, styling, and options, and color of the vehicle before seeing it in person. Now this one comes with 18-inch polished aluminum rims, and it's definitely the first time I've seen polished aluminum rims on the Pacifica. I've seen the painted and polished, but never just the full polished. Looks really good with the black and the chrome accents on the vehicle. Has Michelin Premier 23560 R18 tires. Kind of a all-terrain slash highway tread pattern to them. Brilliant black crystal pearl. Paint codes PXR on this. And really a good, it's got a lot of metal flake in it. You get the LED headlamps, LED running lights, and LED fog lamps. And those are all redesigned for this um, new-ish body style. Front bumper parking sensors. The grille is kind of more oval than the uh, flat look. We'll take a look at the original window sticker so you can see just all the options that are on this vehicle. Plus it's an all wheel drive which is really nice. Pacifica Touring L all wheel drive. The 3.6 liter 287 horsepower 9 speed automatic transmission has the brilliant black crystal pearl paint the black and alloy interior colors and your standard equipment on the Touring L is the adaptive cruise control blind spot monitoring park sense lane departure full speed collision warning plus um, brake assist camera backup camera rain sensitive wipers and all the other stuff you see there interior options are right there as well and uh, Uconnect Theater Family Group which is a $29.95 option gives you the fam cam which uh, you can actually check out what people are doing in the back seats from the radio which is really cool and uh, we it's the first time I've ever seen it so it's pretty cool also has the stone vac system second row heated seats you get the blu-ray DVD player uh, with the seat back video screens, media hubs, video USB port, video remote controls, wireless headphones, and um, power front and rear one touch windows with key sense. Has the trailer tow group, which has 3,600 pounds of towing, and that's $995. And look, they even tell you it's got 3,600 pounds of towing right on there. That's pretty cool. Premium and safety sphere group which is 1995, which gives you the 360 surround view camera, the 19 Alpine speakers, the 506 watt amplifier, the Uconnect 5 navigation system with the 10.1 inch radio, which we'll check out in a little bit, Sirius Guardian, Sirius XM with 360 USB charge port with the third row, eight speed uh, power front passenger seat, as well as the power driver seat. Integrated voice command with Bluetooth, deluxe installation group, parallel and perpendicular park assist, park sense, and global telema telematics box module. One year trial period and the 4G LTE Wi Fi hotspot. Dual pane panoramic sunroof is $12.95. Total MSRP on this one is $49,915. If you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives in the upper right hand part of the screen, is a link to our website. Click that and check us out there. 
three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. There are your miles per gallon and your front end side crash test ratings are all five stars. So definitely the vehicle you want to be hauling your family around in. And I want to get to the redesign on the interior as well, but first we'll finish the walk around on the outside. You do get the stow and go roof rack rails, so they stow in there and can be brought out to get the rails that go across. You get the kind of racetrack tail lamps all the way across the back gate here, which is new on the redesign. Looks really good, kind of looks like a Durango. You get the backup parking sensors, full towing package, which includes that receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wire. And you remember it's 3,600 pounds. You can tell with this vehicle. Comes with the power lift gate. And of course it is an all wheel drive. Third row stow and go seats. Lots of room back here. This is where your stow and vac system is. Get these seats down really easy. Put the headrest down, then follow the numbers. One, which releases it. And then two brings it down. And then it kind of collapses into itself right there for a nice flat floor. Those second row seats go down and then you can haul four by eight sheets of plywood or whatever you wanna haul around and it's like you got a truck when you put all the seats down. And they go up just like that, really nice and easy. Get this gate down, you press this button right here, it'll beep at you three times and then begin its descent. Also has the capless fuel fill, which is a really nice feature. Never get gas on your hands. And it has the enter and go system with the um, keyless entry system. So you just have to have your key in your pocket, put your hand in there, it'll automatically unlock everything. Heated mirrors, blind spot, built-in directional signals. And this interior is just really, really good looking on this vehicle. I love the black with the kind of bright blue stitching on it both of these front seats are power and heated you get driver side lumbar factory floor mats of course auto headlamps tilt and telescopic steering wheel power windows power locks power mirrors and memory driver seat as we hop inside here you'll see the seven inch lcd display turn those lights on and dim it so you can see it a little bit better. You get a digital speedometer, compass, um, you can do miles per empty or miles to empty and change all those corners to read pretty much whatever you want. You get the nice blue hue around the instrument clusters there. You get the leather wrapped with the blue stitching, heated steering wheel. Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, cruise controls and uh, adaptive cruise controls on the right, and you do get audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. Now here it is, here's the 10.1 Uconnect 5 radio. It's really cool. Um, they made it sideways. The navigation system is really good looking, really easy to read. Everything's very intuitive. You know, you just go to your climate right there, Right now it's off, but if it was on, you could uh, do everything either down here or you can do it up here. Like I said, everything's very intuitive. That navigation system, you can make it full screen, so it's really big. And the big thing about this radio over uh, the 8.4 is that you can do Android Auto and Apple CarPlay wirelessly now. So you can uh, basically just have your phone hooked up through the Wi-Fi in the vehicle and then you can do your Android Auto. So like if I wanted to do, right now we got Sublime playing off my phone so I can do music on there. I can also do Waze or Google Maps um, on there as well so I can check out the maps at any time. So if I don't like using the navigation system that comes on the radio from the factory, I can use this one. And then we have your, this is the family cam and the backup camera. So first you got your surround view camera, which will show you your backup cam, but also do the 360 around the camera. You can see the individual tiles in our picture studio, which uh, is really cool and just shows you just how nice and HD that ca those cameras are. You can do a wide view of the outs of the back, a wide view of the front, a narrow view of the front, 
or a narrow view of the back or just check out your backup camera on the full. So when you're hooking up your trailer or your boat or your camper to your van, you can even plus in to zoom in over the receiver hitch and get your stuff hooked up the first time every time. Now really what I was kind of blown away was the fam cam. So you can check out what's going on in the back seats. You can check out what's going on in the second row. Say you got one kid that's a little bit naughtier than the rest. And you can see me right here. Hello. So really cool system. Um, select the seat to change view. So I'm guessing if I just press a button, <laughs> if you just press on the seat, it'll change the camera. Or if you just want to zoom in on the back, people in the back. That's pretty crazy. Um, really a cool system. I think a lot of people had this idea in the past and they finally integrated it into the vehicle, which is really neat. Um, anyways, so you can do all that. Down here's your nine speed automatic transmission. You have your par parallel and perpendicular park assist, your parking sensors, lane departure warning, start stop capabilities, electronic stability control, more tactile climate controls. Down here you get your two USBs, two USB-Cs and an AUX jack, your Blu-ray player and uh, your rear charge right there um just a lot of stuff going on the whole dash is redesigned you get that blue stitching on the leather dash there um really good looking they've really done a nice job on the redesign on this van you get that panoramic sunroof so that second row fixed glass power sunroof in the front and uh here your side doors, your map lights, your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems, assist and SOS buttons in the mirror. We'll check out those back seats and that Uconnect theater system. So you do get the power sliding side doors. You just have to press the button and they'll automatically go or just pull the handle open. So here's the Uconnect theater system. Each person in the second row gets their own screen and you can do games and videos on these things. I am not an aficionado on the Uconnect um, theater system, but I will say you get a USB jack and an HDMI jack. You can plug in headphones back here as well. You do get rear air controls up there. And uh, when these screens, when you don't need them, they just fold into the backrest of the seat. So that's pretty nice. You do get side window shades and these back seats are heated as well. It also has stow and go assist, so you press this button here, here, it'll actually move that front seat all the way up so that you can get this seat into the floor. Things to note, you want to have your armrests all the way upright, and then make sure that the bottom is cleared of anything that would hinder it um, from going into the floor there. And you see, even though it's an all-wheel drive, you can still get your stow and go. They just have that drive shaft in the middle there. And then to get this seat down, you just pull the stow and go strap like so. It'll fold right into the floor and it'll kind of stay there. Pull this up. If you give it a knee down, it'll stay just like so. Really nice and easy. And when those seats are down, you get a nice flat load floor. Third row seats, you do get latch tether anchors or latch anchors back there as well, two of them. And you get those side window shades as well. To get this seat up, just gotta pull it up like so. Grab the stone grow strap again, and it'll go just like that. Put the backrest up, and then on this piece, wanna grab that part, and it'll go right into the floor. Now you press this button again, and that seat will go right back to where you want it. And that's pretty much all the stuff on this Chrysler Pacifica Touring L all-wheel drive. We'll do one more final walk around. I know it was kind of a long video, but I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video and hopefully learned a little bit about the redesign on the Chrysler Pacifica, the Uconnect 5 10.1 inch radio. Checked out the brilliant black crystal color and those polished aluminum rims. And to see more pictures of this van or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got it, go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, 
You can go to youtube.com slash summit auto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to more Chrysler Pacifica minivans like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website, on the bottom link to this vehicle on our website, click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering this amazing 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Touring Out all-wheel drive in brilliant black crystal pearl. Thanks again for checking out the video.